What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mikey K, and I'm back. Yeah, 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 I know. Where were you for the last month? Well, I've been streaming on Twitch. Link in the description. I've been streaming there every week. They're actually pretty lit, so if you guys want to stop on by and vibe with me with my new chat mini games, that would be sick. Uh, link in the description. The first thing you guys want to do before you put on my SIGs is you guys need to go to the Gatorade training facility. Once you're here, do all five workouts, get a plus three on all of them, at least plus three. I got some plus fours. And you get a little Gatorade Turbo Boost, which is one of the blue bars uh, when you're playing 2K, like under your thing, the stamina, where your stamina is. You get a blue bar, which boosts your stamina, so you don't lose stamina that fast. And then there's actually another way to get another blue bar, so you get to have two of the stamina boosts. And it's by going here, going to my favorite person I visit daily, and buying these little cool blue energy chews. If you have VC, you could buy all three of them. That's what I used to do sometimes if I had extra VC. But now I just buy this, and I get two Gatorade boosts. So it's only 3500 plus if you play my career, and you get the endorsements, the, especially the Gatorade one, always do 25% store discount, so you can get a discount. And there's also another way to get these if you guys don't have VC and it's to hit your daily spins. You could get either regular skill boost or Gatorade boost. Like look, I always have skill boost, look, I have jump shot boost, I always have these two, at least. If you have VC, you go buy whatever you want, I guess. But I always have jump shot boost and always have blue energy choose and always do your workout. All right, this is what our boy's been waiting for, dribble style. Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson is the best one that I've used so far. Magic Johnson is also good. Kyrie Irving is decent. Um, moving crossover is Pro 5, definitely. Pro 2 is also decent. I used Pro 2 in the beginning, but I switched to Pro 5. Moving behind the back, so I'm going to go with Pro 3. Look how clean that looks. That's literally perfect running up the court to try to get someone off you, especially if they reach. That move is a kill. Moving uh, spins, obviously basic one. I'll always use basic one for the last like two, three years. Moving hesitation, definitely pro eight. I don't use it that much, but it is like the best one. But it's not really used that much. But bad hesitations do uh, eventually get you out of bounds, especially on the sides. So you should you should be aware of that. Six size up. All right, this is this is really important d rose is good for sure if you guys are the meta if you guys are meta guards definitely go with d rose you could get a quick left to right with it you can also use chris paul not bad at all but i'm a person to go with tim hardaway because it's like a mix of d rose and a mix of like john morant john morant so it's just like a perfect speed boost you could get a nice speed boost out of it and i love like the size up and then park size up, I don't even know how to activate this. So, <laughs> I still don't know how to activate this. So, I just picked park 5 because it looks cool. But basic size up, definitely pro 2. You guys need pro 2 or pro 5. This one's good too. This one's too low and too slow. It affects, this affects how fast your momentum is. See how fast this is. And then this is also fast. So, I'm going to go pro 2. Then size up escape, definitely, definitely again, pro two. It's the best one for sure. And then triple threat styles, no one cares about that. And then shout out my boy Greena for his jump shot. It has been pretty cash. So these are my animations, if you guys wanna look at them. I do not have any good dunks. So yeah, let me get into the gameplay. All right, in this first clip you see I go behind my back and get an angle breaker right there. That boy's lost. I tried to do a spin back here, but I don't even know what happened. But I gained the shot. So, yeah, I guess. Uh, in this clip, this guy was talking crazy for. He beat me because I was only like an 88 with no badges. So I pulled up with my regular build. And then he's a pure red 6-5. And then, as you see, I could just, just did a basic one spin back there to win the game. And I was like six or six that game. And over here, 
This is gameplay from my stream. So as you see here, I'm playing a uh, turbo, I'm playing the twos. Did a crazy slide into a spin pack and I actually made the white there. So that was pretty interesting actually. Uh, not a lot of ice have been going in to be honest. I say just pass there, it's a turbo. Pretty easy two. Uh, I've been trying to play twos a little more often, not gonna lie. Kind of enjoying it, but yeah, I still like threes better. As I throw a lob to turbo, farming rep basically. I'm pretty close to SS1. I did a year right there. Just holding the joystick to the left. If you're coming from the right, I get another easy layup. Dude, back doors are pretty brutal this year because of sliding. Just gonna wait here. I love like coming out like that. Ooh, he thought I was gonna shoot off the spin back, but easy crossover to the other hand. I should have easily scored a three. <laughs> I just clipped that there. I'm pretty sure we. 22 of them or oh, I think they scored actually once Curry slide again green green mm -hmm. surprise he shot that <laughs> they're probably taking some sus shots not gonna lie Oh, he dunked that. Oh, okay, yeah, so they did score once. As you can see, 5 for 5. With my silly play shot lock until my other build is complete. With that build, would be nice. Oh, get the steal. I have like 85 steal. Close to the guy in the back. And then spin back. Yep, in his face. Pre game. That was a good first game. Uh, let me get into another game from the stream and then I will show a little more highlights at the end of the video. Alright, in this second game, we got a play shot on PMPs. He just sits there and then I again shoot a white, but still made it because of all my badges and I'm maxed out. These guys pulled around like three times or something as I get caught into a two. Dude, every catch in this game is either you get put out of bounds or it like drags you into the two when I'm trying to shoot a three. It's kind of weird. This turbo has a contact dunk there. His build is pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. The glass cleaning finishers. And then I don't, I'm pretty sure that these guys were trying to boot me and him offline, but we are blacklisted, so he's just wasting his time. So while he's doing that, he's gonna get timed out right about there. Yep, right there, and then shoot another green. So now, of course, there is an AI on me, like always. Every time someone leaves from the game, it's probably the guy guarding me. Every single time, it's so stupid. Like, look at that defense. And then I don't even know what the heck just happened there. Like, I just threw that ball. I just like, I just threw the ball, but I pressed A. But like, what? That's pretty weird. This guy's hop stepping like it's freaking um, 2020. Well, it is 2020, but I'm at 2K20. There. And then obviously pay matching doesn't work. My boy gets the rebound, pass to me, green. Obviously I won't miss an open shot. <laughs> Psych. Eh. Sometimes I won't. Curry side, obviously. Quick stop. White, and I made it again. Obviously I won't miss an open shot. Does have to be green though, but I won't miss it. And then I get a contact dunk over a paint piece with a 64 driving dunk. 
per game. <laughs> like, 2k. These sigs will make you in literally into a demon. I'm telling you. All you have to do is put on my sigs and then your play shot can get contact dunks too. Like what? 99.9, .9, obviously. Come on. I've literally have only lost like 10 games in the past um, at least week and a half and like five of them were because of post scores and I've played like at least two, three hundred games. Like I know what I'm talking about. Please listen to me. Alright, this has been my Dribble Sigs tutorial. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. And uh, I promise I'm going to start uploading way more, like daily, like three, four times a week also, as much as I can. Uh, it's been real. Peace out, y'all.